All right, hey everybody, it's Mona Weezum. Uh, we just did the, uh, uh, what do they call it? Can't even think of what it was now, but anyway, we used the irons uh, on the driving range. This will be part 4-3 of our, uh, oh, it's actually what they call it, was the iron. <laughs> but uh, this will be part 4-3 of our training plus playthrough. We're actually going to step up to the driver. Uh, you need the Wiimote and the balance board. Of course, the board will be sideways, three METs. How about some golf? Use a Wii Remote as your club and we can analyze your swing. Have four started in the past. Uh, we just four starred approach and uh, four starred the uh, iron as well. Uh, approach shot was one shy of being perfect. Iron was a personal best. It was only the third time I've played so that's not, doesn't mean a whole lot. But I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, again, for like a finite breakdown on tips and tricks check out the uh, first video part 4-1 which will be the approach shot kind of broke it down real good there uh, and let me stress here I'm not centered with the TV my backs to the computer the headset cord are stretched across my body it starts to want to fall off my head uh, doesn't make things any easier uh, this of course is the most difficult because it's the farthest to the pin and of course that means there's more that can go wrong with your swing you know shank or slice you know basically anything that could go wrong is most likely to go along here when you're hitting the ball harder so should still get 20 balls I think it's 250 yards to the pin approach shot was 100 the irons were 160 so now we're full fledged this is like you're teeing off at a hole you know so and of course put your I mean if you're gonna do this you know at least have the wrist strap on just in case you know uh, you know, again, for a complete breakdown, go to the approach up. You basically want to center yourself 50-50 and then just come back and take a swing like you normally would, uh, which is a lot easier to do and you don't have a headset on. But uh, we get 20 balls, and now we'll go ahead and get started. As you can see, you know, the ball started to pull to the right. You don't have that issue on approach shot or with the iron. That's uh, still a nice shot, but... You know, it was 31 yards short of the pin right there. And the problem is, if you come in and just really crank one, it'll pull even farther. Depends on your swing style. But, as you can see, I mean, I'm right-handed, so I tend to do that. <laughs> I don't know that that's good enough. No, that's... didn't even get 200. So now I'll try to hit it a little harder. And you can see what happens. Like I said, it progressively gets harder, you know. This is where it really helps me to be centered with the TV and, of course, to not have a headset on. But I'll make the most of it. Basically, on this one, once I kind of get in the groove is when I start to do well. Uh, right now, we are not there, <laughs> you know. See, that one's going to be way short, I think, but it was, you know, I had it more centered. I didn't pull it as bad. So even though it was 209, it's still a nice shot, so keep that in mind. You know, you don't have to get it the 250 yards to get a 10-pointer. It's just like real golf. <laughs> ah, jeez. This won't be a very good score, but... Oh well. Usually by the tenth shot I'm pretty well dialed in, but that may or may not happen this time. That was kind of weird. It was dead on though. I mean, so sweet. I just need to do that. Just being that much over kills you. That one was pretty square. Alright, so that one actually had pretty good distance on it. That one got pulled. I, I think it'll just be okay. This headset's really bothering me. 
Okay. Oh, I might have a chance. Yeah, got it. I'm having to hold my head weird because of this freaking headset. It's wanting to fall off. Uh, <laughs> obviously, uh, in real life, I don't recommend golfing with a headset if anyone has something Bluetooth styled. Uh, I'm tempted to take the headset off now just to try and finish strong, but. I mean, like I said, it really does make a difference being centered with the TV, in my opinion. Particularly here. I think that could be a decent one. Should be. Oh, no, it didn't have the distance to be. Well, that's, that's great. That's gonna be okay. So now it says we're swinging. That should be a miss right there. Yeah, that's great. I usually do better on this one. This maybe, which I don't play it a whole lot, but I mean I don't usually have this many OKs. I usually basically split the number I have with you know nice shots. Got two left. I hadn't even. I don't think I've even gotten one on the green, uh, which I usually do that two or three times. That one was actually the best shot we've hit, and the headset, of course, is wanting to come off. Uh, I like to end it good. We probably won't, but nope. That was a horrible shot. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a miss. I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah, well, it says we're pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure about that, but. Had two misses, that really kills it. Uh, 12 OKs, only 6 nice shots. It's 120 for professional. Uh, it's only the ninth time I've played. Uh, so it's probably 100. Something to 100 would be 2 star. Probably a hundred plus is going to be three star, and then uh, yeah. So my high score is 180 on that, which is actually pretty dad gum good. Uh, again, I was not wearing a headset and I was centered with the TV when I did that, but clearly 150 is the dividing line for four star and three star. Uh, nonetheless, you know we did pretty good on the other two, and. That's 5 minutes, 18 calories, so basically, if you take your time on these, uh, you're going to do roughly 5 minutes and 18 calories on each of them. Uh, since this is my thousandth day, I want to go ahead and do some more on the playthrough. Uh, it'll be really cool to get to do Segway Circuit, which is next on the thousandth day. But uh, anyway, this wasn't the greatest we could have done, but you know it'll work for the playthrough video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask here at the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. And as always, thanks for watching. I will uh, catch you next time.